Hey there, it's Sean, your Charleston Realtor. Today we're gonna to talk about the three major players that you need to recruit on your team before you go buy a house in South Carolina. I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty details here, that's another video or multiple videos, but there are three very important people that you need to 100% absolutely buy a house here in South Carolina. That is unless you're made of money and you're a seasoned pro. Before I get to that first key player though, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. All right, so that first person you're gonna need is a real estate agent or a realtor. So you might hear the word realtor, real estate agent used interchangeably, and for all intents and purposes, they are. Realtor is just a real estate agent who's a member of the National Association of Realtors, which is a big real estate union. That's why you see sometimes the little, you know, restricted R next to the word realtor, and it's in all caps, is because Realtor is an actual union. It's not just what real estate agents call themselves. But your realtor is going to handle the real estate side of that transaction. So we're talking showing homes, negotiations, and getting homes under contract. Your realtor is going to be the expert at the local level. So he's going to know that, that local market better than probably anybody else. And he's going to be a fierce negotiator on your behalf. Your realtor, he's going to be the one who's going to give you the advice on how to get started. All the time I get asked, Sean, I would love to buy a home, but I, it just seems overwhelming. And, and I get that. The home buying process can seem overwhelming, but it's your real estate agent's job to break that down into small bite-sized chunks. So once you find a home, your realtor is going to help you negotiate for the price and the terms of that home. And once that's all agreed upon, you're now considered under contract with the seller. Uh, you might hear this sometimes referred to as being an escrow. So once you're under contract, your realtor is going to make sure that the timeline is moving smoothly, that pairs are made, inspections are performed, making sure that the financing and the appraisal is still proceeding as planned to make sure that we close on time. Next, you're going to need a lender. Some people might call this the bank, though it doesn't necessarily have to be a bank. There's a lot of lenders out there who are small private lenders or mortgage brokers who aren't affiliated with any bank or larger financial institution. Your lender is going to enable you to obtain financing for your house because believe it or not, most people can't go buy homes in cash. So you're going to need to finance at least some portion of it. And the amount of that you portion is going to depend on your loan product. Your lender is going to be able to help you pick out a loan product that's best for you in your situation. Some people might choose the conventional route. Some people might choose the FHA route and there's other you know, loan products out there from USDA to VA loans that a lender will be able to talk to you about and see what's right for your situation. Here's the thing though, it's gonna take a while to approve your loan because your lender has to verify your income, your credit, your employment, your history, and anything else that's deemed important for the loan. And this is usually the longest part of the home buying process is the lender saying that you are good to go for the loan and also taking a look at the house that you're trying to buy and saying that the house is worth this much amount of money and we're comfortable giving you a loan on that house. That's what we call the appraisal. They're doing all this because lending standards right now are super tight. You know, after the 2008 financial crisis, when all the banks lost a lot of money because of all the foreclosures, it was because of a whole bunch of subprime loans and I won't get into the details, but it, you know, it crashed the stock market, the real estate market, so, and it was all due to lax lending standards. So lending standards right now are super tight. There's a lot of requirements in all the loan products that weren't there you know, 15, 20 years ago. Here's the thing though, and here's the thing that most lenders don't want you to know, is that not all lenders are created equal. They make money two ways, in a real estate transaction. It is the spread of the interest rate as well as any fees they might charge you. So what I always do is I encourage my clients to shop around to multiple lenders because guess what? Lenders get paid zero dollars if you don't choose them to give you a loan. They get paid nothing. So they're willing to make massive cuts to what they're gonna charge you. And they're also willing to drop your interest rate pretty substantially to get your business because some business is better than no business. So the third person you're gonna need in a real estate transaction here in South Carolina is an attorney. 
So South Carolina is an attorney state. Some of y'all who have bought homes in other states might have heard this referred to as title. There might have been a title officer involved. Well, in South Carolina, all real estate transactions are handled by a licensed attorney in the state of South Carolina. So the attorney will handle any legal issues that pop up in the real estate transaction. It's also going to ensure that you have a clean title prior to closing. Closing is that magical day when everybody gathers at the attorney's office, you sign the, the million forms and all of a sudden your house is yours. All that takes place at the attorney's office usually. All right, so to break it down, you're gonna need a realtor, a lender, and an attorney to buy a home here in South Carolina. If you don't know any lenders or attorneys, that's fine. Your realtor can definitely recommend a couple to you. You're never required to use anybody that your realtor recommends. The reason they're recommending them is probably because they're good at their job or they have the lowest fees or preferably both. And as always, if you're looking to buy a home in South Carolina or really anywhere else in the United States, I'd love to chat. Shoot me a text or an email. My contact information is in the description below. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.